I love basketball. Playing basketball is fun because I like to run around and be with my friends. It's not about trying to win, it's just about playing our best and having fun. I was playing defense and the other team was running down the court. The girl went to drive to the basket and I tried to block her and she went through me and knocked me over and I hit the back of my head. And at the time, it, we just thought it was uh, my daughter just getting pushed down because she jumped right back up. And um, after you know a little bit of treatment on the sidelines, she went right back into the game. So we didn't really think much about it. A couple weeks later, she started complaining of headaches. For two months, Anna's family had no idea how seriously she had been injured. They had never been taught how to treat or even recognize the symptoms of concussion. And in that time, we're seeing her just start to decline. And the number one thing that we were seeing was this lack of ability for her to focus. My teachers didn't really do anything about it. They just thought that I wasn't working as hard and my grades were getting down. I couldn't focus in, I couldn't do the work. Night after night, she would try to do math and could not do the math problems that she could do two months earlier. And so that's when we really knew something was up. She was tired. She had brief vision changes. She had a pressure headache. She had some balance issues. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. And you know, she was definitely having post-concussive issues. I was surprised when I found out I had a concussion. And I was sad because I couldn't play sports and I couldn't really do anything. Most people think of concussions when they think of professional football, hockey, or other contact sports. I'm here at the home of the six-time Super Bowl champions, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Every fall, this place rocks with deafening cheers as some of America's biggest, strongest, fastest, and most fearless athletes go toe-to-toe, shoulder-to-shoulder, -to -shoulder, and helmet-to-helmet. As every fan knows, sometimes concussions are a result of this hard-hitting action on the field. But concussions are not just a problem for the National Football League or the National Hockey League. The fact is, across America, hundreds of school and amateur athletes suffer concussions every day. And many times, they and their coaches aren't even aware of what's happening. To help them, doctors who now head up the sports medicine concussion program at UPMC were instrumental in developing a scientifically validated and reliable tool that helps prevent the severity of the injury, as well as helps manage the injury. When it comes to concussions, proper management is key in preventing deep, lasting damage and ensuring safe return to play. The tool is called IMPACT, and here's how it works. What IMPACT is, is a computer-based test that allows us to put the brain to work. And by putting the brain to work and measuring things like reaction time and memory and speed and multitasking, we can actually see where the, the patient's deficits are. And ultimately, that data allows us to determine when athletes can go back to play safely. Prior to IMPACT, it was how many fingers am I holding up and smelling salts that predicated return to play. We've made a lot of changes over the last 10 years. Dr. Collins put Anna in front of the impact test. And I was thinking everything was going to be great. And I'll never forget when Dr. Collins came in to deliver the results. He actually came from behind the desk and sat next to me and said, this is very serious. I want you to listen to what I'm going to tell you. Her visual motor speed score was grossly below the first percentile. That means that more than 99 out of 100 girls would do better than her. The first thing he did was say, she can't go to school. And he said, what we're going to do is not have her stress her brain anymore. The harder these kids get pushed through this injury, the worse it's going to get. And something that can take a couple weeks to recover can take a couple months or longer if these student athletes are not managed effectively from an academic standpoint. Dr. Collins told me to just rest and take it easy. We are treating Anna with various physical therapies and medication therapies, and we can use that data to track and monitor her progress. Anna had a hard time converging her vision appropriately. In reading, her eyes would jump all over the page. She wasn't able to focus her vision appropriately, and because of that, she couldn't comprehend what she was reading. And so the glasses that she wears are actually prism glasses. They're pieces of glass that actually help her see focused. And I, I wouldn't have believed it until I saw it. She actually read without the glasses, and she stumbled on every word. But then when the doctor put those glasses on and she read the book, she read it like, like it was poetry. 
taken a lot of work, a lot of physical therapy, medication therapy, uh, a lot of a lot of time, you know, from the family to attend appointments with us. Uh, but we're getting her there, and she'll be 100% recovered before you know it. Just a few weeks ago, she took the impact test for the fourth time, and I think Dr. Collins did some somersaults down the hall. He was so happy. She's in the 90th percentile for everything, which is right on target of where she needs to be. The data derived from impact has been essential in us understanding Anna's case. Using this tool, we can better manage these kids, and getting kids back to play safely is what this is all about. I don't know what I want to do after college, but maybe in high school I'll probably play basketball. We've come a long way from the time when if a school athlete sustained a direct blow to the head, the coaches pushed the player to get back in the game. But still, when you look at the geography of concussions across this country, you can see how vital and helpful impact is and how many young lives it has the potential to touch.